Let's get a, a bit more insight into Zara's life and her story. Also in Hickory this morning, joining us exclusively, two of Zara's relatives, Brittany Bentley, who is married to Zara's stepmother's nephew, and Kim Drum, her mother. Good morning to you both, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Brittany, let me begin with you. What do you think happened to Zara? Um, my honest opinion, I think, Lisa has something to do with it. I just think this is something for a long time that we knew was going to happen. Everybody that was close to the family. Um, okay, let's, let's tell I, our viewers, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just want to make sure our viewers follow the story. Lisa is Zara's stepmother, and you are married to Lisa's nephew and say that you saw them frequently. What makes you think that she would harm Zara? Um, just from the times I went over there, um, the environment Zara lived in, she was locked in her room, allowed five minutes out of day to eat, that was it. Um, she was beat almost every time I was over there for just, just the smallest things. Uh, if Lisa would get mad, she would take it out on Zara. Things the kid didn't deserve. Um, she just had a horrible home life. Um, she had a, one time I remember she got, had a black eye and she said it was from the door, but we all knew it, or, you know, we suspected it was from Lisa, so. Yes. Wow. She she was locked in her room all day. She was beaten. Did anyone, did her father, for example, try to stop this, or did anyone report this to authorities? That's the crazy thing. Uh, I never saw Adam, like, spank her, punish her, do anything, but he would sit there and watch Lisa do it to his child. He would just sit there and not say anything. Um, yes, um, her daughter actually reported to DSS, and they came. I don't know. I, how much was done, but yes, it was reported, hmm. so. We should say that Lisa has been arrested, but with char on charges that have nothing to do with Zara's disappearance. So Kim, let me ask you, do you believe it's possible that this was just a random kidnapping? No, I knew it from the moment my father had called and told me, this is, this is Lisa. They found, uh, authorities say that they found Zara's hearing aids in the home, but they didn't say anything about her prosthetic leg. What does that tell you, Kim? Do you find that unusual? That's, that's what completely made it unusual to me. Zara, when she spent the night with us, and she stayed with us a lot, um, an hour before she would go to bed, she would put pajamas on, always take her leg off. It was just, it was a routine for her. She. She never, ever went to bed with her leg on. I, I can't imagine what it must have been like for a child to endure, if she did endure what you say she went through, plus have this bone cancer that has robbed her of her hearing and a leg. How did she handle her disabilities, Brittany? Was she kind of a, a, a miserable child, or was she a happy child despite of this? Oh, no, she was a happy child. Um, you know, I remember... She uh, she could walk walk on one leg faster than you know we could walk on two legs. She was a she was an amazing child. She was never angry, depressed, always happy, always loving. So I didn't understand. Only time I ever saw any anger in her is when she'd come stay with us on the weekends. When it was time for her to leave, she would just get mad. I hate you. I hate you. And I explained to my mother I understand why because she didn't want to go home because mm. um, her home life was miserable. Well, we, we hope that she is still alive and, and returns safely soon. Brittany Bentley, Kim Drum, thank you so much for your time, ladies. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.